Ferrari Buick GMC, we're proud to help you with your vehicle needs every step of the way. Whether you're looking to upgrade to a brand new model, get behind the wheel of a pre-owned vehicle, or receive helpful repairs and efficient service, our team is dedicated to ensuring you feel comfortable, confident, and taken care of. We've won the General Motors Mark of Excellence Award six times, proof of our commitment to quality customer service. Upgrade your dealership experience at Delray Buick GMC. It matters where you buy your car. Good morning, Delray Beach. I'm Amanda. And I'm Jamil. And we're at one of our favorite places in town. The Delray, Delray Buick, Buick GMC. GMC, baby. I mean, to start your morning surrounded by beautiful cars? Listen, That's it's a tease. It's a tease. I think it they like teasing tease. us. Yep. Well, you know, we can jump on in some and check them out again. I mean, it really is. These these cars are beautiful cars. Yeah, we can jump in and we call it bending a few corners. So we'll just bend a few corners when we get right. <laughs> I mean, for anybody who is out there and looking for a car, make sure you stop by here. The yes. service is spectacular. There's cars on the lot and they're nice, which is more than a lot of places can say right now. And, and, t and tell you the truth right now, they said it's really a back order of a lot yep. of cars. So a lot of times if you come into the GMC, right, you place your order, it's yep. probably going to be two or three months before mm -hmm. you even get your car yep. as well. But And they have beautiful cars right here. Right. And I mean, the level of service, they've won so many awards. Even just from their employees, the retention of their employees, everything that they're doing here is actually pretty, pretty cool. Live. <laughs> So this, we, this what, you know, nothing to see here, folks, nothing to see here, folks, <laughs> yeah, not, nothing at all. This but, is what uh, happens when you have beautiful jewelry, I, you're messing up your sound. I, it's the bling, baby. Speaking of, did you not feel, did you not feel, <laughs> yeah, did you not feel a little naked today that we didn't get those watches well, again? Well, I wanted to leave it home. I left it home on a dress. <laughs> I couldn't really wear that watch. My security that came along with yeah, the watch, right. he, he got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> So I left the watch on. <laughs> They're gonna say the watch got COVID. My husband was like, "Don't get any ideas." When I yeah. came home, and yeah. I was like, "I was like, do you see that picture? Did you see that picture?" I don't I mean, see how you can wear a watch that costs the same as a Ferrari. Yeah. Or a house, so it's just more of a, you having oh, that on your wrist. It was that was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, that was goldsmithing complications. You guys need to check it out it if you're a watch connoisseur. It was but a e lot even of here at, at GMC. I think since we started filming here. Um, I think I've probably sent like three yep. or four people over there have purchased vehicles. Yes, from and, I, and I have to say too, after, every time that we film here, so many people are asking us, hey, yep. like, what, what, what is it like? What did you see the Buick? Did you see? Which I think is really cool. Yep. And the thing, I mean, I still haven't stopped thinking about that one truck we were in the one time I forgot that had the, the speakers yes. in the back and all the step up. And I mean, you're thinking about the tailgate and the party. Of course that's that, I am. That's that Crimson Tide from that's Alabama right, coming tide. out. <laughs> that's right. So, you know, I was like, wow, imagine if we had this in college. But it is. It's a spectacular dealership full of wonderful people that are here to help you get the car of your dreams. So yes. come on over. Come on over, check it out. And also check it out tonight. Ooh, fashion week, baby. Fashion week starts to benefit the Achievement Center and you're gonna see some familiar faces. Yes. I mean, you know, this is one of the things that I love and I've been doing since I moved here, but I'm excited to listen, have you listen. there with me. Delray Beach Fashion Week is really one of these, fa and it is it's recognizing all of the shops yes. and local retailers yep. here in Delray yep. Beach. It's only local. So there's, right. it's all local shops, designers, models, you have all of the models coming everything. together. Yep. And what I love about it is we raise a lot of money and we have a lot of fun. Yes. So the Achievement Center, they're going to have their dancers again, which are the cutest dancers. If you haven't seen them, just yeah. come for the beginning to see these kids if you only got a couple minutes. But it is. And um, and yeah, and these beautiful people come together for a good cause and you get to see things that you can buy right here locally. You know, after we, we took a walk around to the yes. retail shops and yes. I've seen a lot of the clothing, I've seen a lot of different things along the avenue and I'm sitting there, wow, yeah. you don't need to go to a mall. Mm -mm. I mean, the prices are reasonable, mm -hmm. depending on which stores you're going somewhere. But they, they have something, something for everybody. For everybody. Mm -hmm. They have something for everybody. Yep. So if you're looking for something real high end exclusive, yep. I mean, we make custom gowns in, in my studio and there's other people who have things of that yes. level. Or you're looking for a cute pickup item, something you could throw on to go to dinner. You know, you could find literally anything right. at Delray Beach. If you're not, if you're not doing anything this evening, come to Old School yeah. Square. And it, it'll be time. set up. There's a big railway stage that'll be yeah. set up out there. They gave us the microphone. They told us that we're going to be the MCs. I, know. So I was you know, like, this thing is going to be live. It's going to be so much I'm gonna, fun. I'm going to work, I'm gonna uh -oh. work my, my uh -oh. runway walk. I, I'll work on it later. You're going to be standing. Yeah. I'll, we're going to keep him standing. Yeah, Don't worry. Let me work, work no, the runway. But we, uh, wait. 
but I met you the first time when you modeled for me yes. on the runway. Yeah, so, some bow ties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he actually does know how to walk the runway. Yeah, just a he little does. bit. He just does. a little bit. So we have so many incredible guests today. Yes. Do you want to bring the first one on? Yes, yes. Let's bring our first guest, Mr. Dion Jefferson, Be Well Grants Navigator and pre previous Be Well recipient. Let's give it up for him. Mr. Jefferson, come on down. Oh, they're coming together. You, come, you got two guests. Oh, we got two more. We're bringing on Roswell Oreo as well. He's the CEO of Thinking Out Loud Inc. Hey, guys. Good morning. How you guys doing? Thanks for having us. We are so excited to have you both on and be talking about the fabulous things that you're doing. And congratulations again for receiving your grant last year. I mean, Thank you. what a spectacular event. So for people who don't remember, tell us a little bit about what you put on because you put on an <laughs> event thank you and thank you for your support too yes. um, um i actually was able to talk about the event on this show mm -hmm. last year so thank you for having me twice um i had a fashion art ball where i had um, artists pretty much submit their artwork and it was geared towards mental and behavior health um, over 120 artists submitted their artwork and we narrowed that down to about 20 artists um they were able to you know so they artwork and display their information. Um, I work with a mental health clothing brand company called Psyche Signature. Shout out to Psyche Signature. Um, wow, I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. so cool. Okay. Yeah, they um, cool. they are a mental health clothing brand, and um, they were able to showcase their designs. So it was their mm -hmm. premier fashion show. So exciting. Um, and, and it was fabulous. Like thank I'm going to interrupt you for a second no, because no. I know you're not going to give yourself. Eat all the credit due. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't get in the building. So my, it was in the arts warehouse yes. where I have a studio. Uh -huh. You couldn't get in the building. <laughs> I, I was like, what? Oh my goodness. And I just had to run upstairs to grab something while all the things were happening because I couldn't get a ticket. It sold out. It did. And <laughs> it was spectacular how many people came in support of such an important cause and to celebrate it in a beautiful way. Yeah, I mean, was what cool. you did was was really magnificent. Thank you. So, Thank so you. much kudos Thank to you and everybody involved that, that put this on. It was I appreciate spectacular. It. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a joy to put on an event and not be able to charge anybody. Yes. Um, it was a total free event mm -hmm. and people came. They were super responsive and they had a good time. And they and dressed I had a, up. They dressed up. People dressed up. Mm -hmm. it, was an ex, it was called the Express Yourself um, Fashion Art Ball. So people literally came in outrageous clothing yes. that they felt comfortable in. Yeah. Um, and I let them walk the runway. Yep. And I also had a photo shoot with two individuals who won uh, the Express Yourself uh, contest. So, so what, what, is Be well, what is the Be Well grant? You want to speak about that? The Be Well grant the, from Be Well PBC. Um, it's a community initiative in uh, Palm Beach County. And um, we like to fund individuals uh, with their ideas for behavior and mental health. Um, so that's what we're doing this year. Um, we are awarding um, individuals or community organizations up to five thousand dollars wow so. and how many of these grants do you have um we have a lot last year we did, we did oh. about 13. wow yes so we're looking to so 13 you know, people out there so what are they what are the parameters just like a quick little overview if people sure. are watching and they're like oh well i could use a grant i mean who couldn't use a grant these days right. so what what are the parameters what do they have to be able to do or talk about in order to be eligible well, they have to be a Palm Beach County resident okay. or organization. That's mm -hmm. pretty much the main. Oh. That's pretty much the main criteria. Okay. We want to keep the money in Palm Beach yes. County. And um, although we encourage organizations mm -hmm. to apply, we really, really are looking for residents mm -hmm. and individuals. That was to good because I, I was, I was, I was hearing people. A lot of people were thinking that you had to have a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. You had to be that's part of some type of organization. Yeah. So that's a good point. Well, actually, this year we're doing something really cool, mm -hmm. and um, we're doing we're introducing podcasts. Mm -hmm. So Rosler actually is going to talk about what we're doing, super cool and new Ooh, this year. I like Ooh. that segue. So Rosler, talk <laughs> to yes, us about that. Good, Dion. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Very professional. With the podcast grant, we're yeah. going to award five podcasts, which we're going to cover all the production costs as wow. well as a five hundred dollar grant to the podcast host. And we're going to take them from the beginning to the end of the podcasting process. From I want a podcast. Work. You got to apply. I got an idea. I got an idea. No. So if we're going to be competing for a podcast mm -hmm. grant, oh, he's going to win. I got an idea. <laughs> well, look, this is what we do. I apply for one, you apply for a different one. We just be each other's co-hosts. So at least we get a, we get a win no matter Deal. what. We win. That's how we exactly. do it, right? Exactly. <laughs> 30, 50. But we saw it as a great opportunity mm -hmm. to have the residents of Palm Beach County discuss behavioral and mental mm -hmm. health or mm -hmm. even some initiatives that they're doing 
mm-hmm. through the form of a podcast. They'll Amazing. get four episodes that they'll be able to talk about whatever they want, basically. Great. We do have a few parameters. We want to yeah. keep it right. PG and nice and fun, <laughs> but we, we definitely want to get lose. the voices heard of the community. <laughs> and yeah just bridge the gaps on what needs to be done and possibly it. find some solutions. It's great. You, you actually beautiful. cleared up some things for me because when I went on the website to take a look at it, I seen that there was two different applications mm-hmm. and one said podcast. I was like, well, I don't have a podcast, so I can't apply Not for yet. this one. Not Not yet. Yet. But see, I didn't Not know yet. that you were looking for people with ideas to yeah. start yeah. their own podcast. Yes. Oh That's my huge. God. All right. That is huge. Because I think for a lot like of people, it. like myself even, you know, and I'm pretty bold about when I have something I want to do, I go for it. But if there's something about a podcast that can be a little intimidating, yeah. where do you start? How do you do it? What are the tools you need? How, the equipment? The, and I know our public library does have a lot of equipment for people who do have a podcast. Yeah. So they could start with you guys and have some expert help mm-hmm. and then be able to keep it rolling afterwards. Yeah. And I love that it's focused around mental health. Um, I went to school for psychology, actually, was what I was doing because wow. I believe so strongly. Um, I had a, a lot of friends that you know went through a lot of things. And, um, and I think it's something people don't talk about enough. Mm-hmm. And I think it's really important to find different ways for people to channel that through a fashion show or a podcast or, yeah. or just having those open communication yeah. with people. And I think a lot of lives can be saved that way. So I think, and I applaud you guys for that. Um, Cause it is, it's something that still, even in 2022, people don't talk about enough is, is the struggles they're going through. And I think it's right. really, I think it's beautiful to tie that in with, with the podcasting. Yep. Yeah. So also, tell us a little bit about Thinking Out Loud. Well, we're a company that works with individuals, nonprofits, mm-hmm. real estate agents to help facilitate podcasts, also mm-hmm. project management and technical support. We really want to be the back end support to help them focus on what's most important, mm-hmm. working with their clients and not really focused on just having to run their business, yes. but growth. Wow. So the roster is the man. <laughs> so we are sitting next to the person we need to know for these podcasts yes. we're trying to do. Yes. That's great. And I know there's a lot of people out there who just really don't know where to start. So go to, is it, tell them your website because people need to know where they can come and find you for their podcast. My website is thinkingoutloudinc.com. But to apply for the grant, you need to go to bewellpbc.org. And I do want to let everyone know that you can apply for the grant and the podcast grant so you can oh. apply for both. Yeah. Hey, listen, right now they're not taking any more applications. Nope. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we actually no, have. Is that, is that <laughs> you're going to kick you off your own show. Get out. He wants all four. He has wait till I get home. Wait till I get home and submit my <laughs> Well, actually, tonight we do have, we have to mention this. Tonight we do have a Q&A session. Um, oh. It starts tonight. Oh. Um, we've had, this will be our second one. Okay. Um, so it's almost like an interest meeting so people can ask their questions about the process yeah. um, and about the podcast. So it w- our first one was on the fifth. And then the our second one will be tonight, and you must attend at least one of those sessions in oh, order no. to. Oh no! We're hosting the show tonight. So we're, tonight's the last one. It's going down. Trouble. No, we're gonna log we'll in. See you we're gonna log in while we're on stage. While we're on stage, <laughs> we'll, we'll be logging in. in. And they're no like, problem. "Why are these people? Why are these people on here?" Face. We can just okay. have your name right there on the screen. It's Zoom. We've got no this. Problem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just mute the audio. We just ask that you. Oh, you don't want to hear us say, "Welcome, Delray Beach." You no, you don't want that on your thing. So, what is the deadline for people to apply? Well, we are cutting applications off, boom, at 1.59 at March, March 5th. 5th, March the 5th. Okay, okay we have some, well, we got to get on that call, 5, Sarah, yes. can you make a note for us, 5.30, we got to. So the deadline, <laughs> is, the deadline is March 31st. No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, Jamil is naughty today. Tell us the real deadline again, please. March the 5th, we're the cutting it off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Jamel's trying to, I'm trying to see, apply. this I'm is just... how he is as a football coach, I bet. He tries all these tactics. <laughs> oh. Sneaky, sneaky tactics. Mine, it's, a, it's a chess Mine, game. Yeah. Yeah. It's a chess yeah. game at the end of the day. He's yeah. got to figure it out. He knows <laughs> how to intimidate the competition here. Absolutely. You guys shouldn't apply. Is there anything else that you that you want people to know about either your businesses or what you have going on or these incredible opportunities? I mean, this is an incredible opportunity. $5,000 can do a lot, especially when you're starting something new. Mm-hmm. Well, we just encourage, we, we really encourage creative and innovative. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's the main goal here. Yes. We want to be well like family. Mm-hmm. So we are all about family and community. So if you're going to apply, make sure that the you don't apply just to get money, but you apply because your idea is based on the community yes. and you want to focus on helping somebody else mm-hmm. 
through behavior or mental health. Not because you it. want a handbag, guys, because exactly. you want to you make want a, a difference yes. like and use this money for good. I love it. Yes. But, so and I have to say, um, this is my first time hearing of a business like yours, yes. too. So I think uh, it may be a lot of people first time. So you may be getting a lot of phone calls. But how would your website is, is thinkingoutloud.com? Thinkingoutloudinc.com. Thinkingoutloudinc. And then you want to give them your phone number or? Anything, email address. Phone numbers on there, emails on there. Hey, man. Don't call his personal number. He's very busy. Hey, businessman, make it happen. (laughs) (laughs) They can email me at contact at thinkingoutloudinc.com. That is so great. Yes. Well, thank you both for coming this morning and joining no us. And we're gonna, you're going to be seeing us at 5.30. Okay. Because yes. this is fabulous. I have some, I have some creative ideas. I'm actually cool. applying for Well, good luck so. with Fashion Week tonight, thank guys. You. And if you need some models, we don't just do podcasts and mini grants. That's mini-grass. right. Yeah, I love so, okay. <laughs> just letting you know. So models, if you drop out, watch out. We got replacements. Yes. <laughs> One replacement. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to be behind the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Well, right. thank you, guys. No problem, guys. We'll Have a good day. Thank you. Guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. I am so excited to have learned more about this. I didn't realize yeah. exactly all of the different things. And I didn't, like you said, I thought it was only nonprofits could apply. That's what I thought. Yep. Because I have a lot of things I would like to do as a business, and that could go a long way. Well, even even for individuals that are out there that yeah. that have an idea that's something mm-hmm. that's lo- that you're looking to better the community, but yeah. you didn't have the funds yeah. to make that happen. Yeah. This is your opportunity, right? Especially after you know a couple of years being a little crazy for a lot of business yes. owners, you know, having something like that, you know, it can right. it can change the game for people. Yeah. And some people, if you haven't written a grant yourself, mm-hmm. I think touching in on that Q and A. Yes, tonight yes. At, at 5.30. That's great advice. Um, you know, that would be a great thing, a, a great way to go in and, and look at, uh, I guess, ask some questions that you may have on how to apply for a grant and things that you should incorporate into your writing. Mm-hmm. That's, so. Yeah, because I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, so when we apply like for it. our podcast grant, we got to make yep. sure we got our paperwork for sure, done. For sure, for sure. So do you want to welcome on our next guest? Listen. This obviously applies to you very much, yes, though. Yes, this yes, yes. Is- Looking sharp. <laughs> we say, if you look sharp, be sharp every day. So our next guest, Mr. Brandon Clark, he's the manager of Legacy Bar- Barbershop. Let's welcome him to the show. It's clean, baby. If you, if you notice, the, the gentleman that came on the show today. <laughs> You're clean. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. I have to say, my husband goes to your barbershop. I love to hear that. And he loves it. Loves it. And for all of you picky people out there, Solomon, I'm sorry, I'm putting you on blast. He is very picky about how his hair is done. When we lived in New York, I don't know how many different barbers we went to, and he liked none of them. And then we come here, and he had a couple that were, you know, nice. And his barber, now that he has, that's... um, Oh, what is his name? Solomon, you're going to kill me. Mark. Thank you, Mark. He loves Mark. Like, he will let his hair grow out if he can't get into Mark. He won't let it. Nobody can touch it. Everybody loves Mark. <laughs> you know, Everybody I think, I Mark. think he, the, it's an understatement about barbershops, and every yeah. man can really tell you this. After you get your hair cut as a man or as a, as a young boy, you just feel, you feel, you feel something about yourself. You, you smile different. You know, you just walk past every mirror and you glance at it a little bit. You lick your lips. You know, after you get a nice little clean shave. Oh, no, it does something about your... It That's just, what we love. Yeah. Like, when we catch you looking in the mirror at the end of the cut and walking out and looking around, yeah. we're like, all right, that's what it's about. You're walking out of that shop, yeah. you know, your shoulders go back, yeah. you put your head up, you're feeling good. Right. That's the idea. So, so Legacy Barbershop, like, what te- what sets your business aside from all of those barbershops? Um, you, you know, we, we, we call ourselves Legacy Barbershop and Studio. Mm. You know, um, we, in our shop, when people stop by, they'll see we have a, a large array of uh, uh, artwork hanging up, mm-hmm. a lot of eclectic artwork. We try to showcase local artists as well, oh. because for all of us that work there, you know, art to us isn't just painting, photography, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your, your traditional mediums. Mm-hmm. Hair is an art to us. Absolutely. Um, every client that sits in our chair, that is a blank, open canvas for us. Mm-hmm. And, and, and in a technical sense, when you're dealing with hair, you're dealing with shape, you're dealing mm-hmm. with texture, you mm-hmm. know, all elements of art. So for us, that's, that's when people step into us, number one, they're gonna see a shop that they really normally would not see. Mm-hmm. Um, we pride ourselves on outstanding, excellent customer service. We believe customer service is at the core of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and on top of that customer service, we believe in giving an excellent service mm-hmm. to, like you said, right. make your day, make That's you happy. Fantastic. I know when, you know when I when I first went up to college, I went up to Daytona. I couldn't find a barber, and not I was I wasn't really looking. I was just used to the guy in Delray that was mm-hmm. cutting my hair. Mm-hmm. When I got up there, next thing you know, my hair is just growing, growing. 
I end up with dreadlocks. You, you know? did? <laughs> yes, we yes. need picture of this. <laughs> Marissa, we need picture. <laughs> so I ended up I ended up with just growing my hair out. Yeah. Um, but it was it was because I didn't have that comfortable feeling. I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't feel Absolutely. like going to sit in anyone's yeah. chair just to cut my hair, you Absolutely. know. So you really I right. mean so you're a barber and I think every man now you just can't pop in at any barber shop and want a haircut it's, at the end of It's the day. an intimate experience. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, yeah. it, 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 number one, we're we're closer to you than most people are close mm -hmm. to you outside you know, outside of family. I mean in a profession yeah. sense, we're very right number one, we're right up on you. Right. Yeah. And we're dealing with how you look. Mm -hmm. So you have to have that comfort, that, that mm -hmm. ease. We're a very relaxed atmosphere, yeah. very relaxed atmosphere. We, we play you know, an eclectic array of music. We change it up all day, every day. We keep constant ears on what, what words are being yeah. said. And if we, if we hear something, boom, we change it right there. Yeah. You know, we, we, we pride ourselves being a family place as well, That's right. where great. we take care of all age groups, mm -hmm. little ones all the way up to the elderly, you know? And how long have you been in business? We have been in business going on six months now. Wow. Six months. Uh, three of us on the team, um, Mark, Saiz, mm -hmm. and myself. Mark and Saiz are the owners there. Mm -hmm. Myself, they brought me on the first week pretty much as opening. We've been Amazing. cutting in Delray for years. Yes. And then we just added another full-time barber, Santiago. Great. Who, uh, he's coming from um, down in Broward, but is looking in the Delray area to purchase up here in Delray. He wow. Fell in love with Delray. So you're expanding already in six months. So that speaks volumes right. as to their business and just really, and I mean, I know so many people who come to you that had been at other places and they followed you guys. I mean, and, Absolutely. and it is, it is one of those things that I mean, I can't speak, I'm obviously not a man, but from... You know, same thing with women. You you need that connection. I think it's all about the connection with the person who's doing right. your hair. And it like really you said, is. the trust. The connection and the trust. And once that's broken, it's like any other relationship. It's done. Because I've gone places over the years where it was like, great. And then I was like, oh, mm, mm, mm. You know, and then unfortunately, that's how it works. So to have so many people follow from place to place after a barber. Right. And you have that with all of you, which is So is I amazing. have to say, with, with technology, um, the art of cutting hair has really changed and the things that you can do with what's so I was looking at some videos online and I mean they have these man wigs now that they're gluing on to your head and I mean oh no listen it, it's crazy Are even you, all the way down to, to a, I think I, I don't want to keep in mind yeah I love I love I love the stone and ball I love, I love the, glue but it. I'm just when I when I see the transformation and I'm like yeah. oh my gosh technology has just came yeah, a true. long way it, hair, hair in general is an ever evolving industry mm -hmm. um not just down to the styles you know you you obviously were, were kind of in a post-covid world mm -hmm. we still are dealing with it but post-covid but you take a look at quarantine when barbershops were mm -hmm. shut down and you had either men that were coming in and saying you know my wife did my hair. My girlfriend did her hair. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. A couple of us were like, cancel the rest of the day. Extreme this hair makeover. But then on the other aspect, um, men were coming in with longer hair now and right. hadn't cut it. You know, so then you're bringing back the style of a longer haircut. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with the technology, all the yeah. different styles, all the different tools out there. Everything is all implemented. It is, it is ever evolving and you need to study it on a daily basis. Yeah. I agree. I, I totally agree. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. It is amazing. I, I've seen it to where even at the barbershop, the conversations that go on in barbershops, mm -hmm. I sit in, I, I take my son, um, now he'll get his hair twisted or something. He just sit around and listen to the conversations that, that happen in barbershop. I mean, it's, it's eye opening. I mean, you talk yeah. about sports, you talk about everything, everything, you know, so you can meet a lot of people and the things, the wisdom mm -hmm. that comes out of the mouth of the people and inside of the barbershop. If you're having a bad day, just go to a barbershop. I don't know what happens <laughs> in hair salons whatsoever, but. Come to our barbershop. <laughs> Go we, to we Legacy pride Barbers. ourselves on our vibe. <laughs> I we like, have I love banter it. going all day, yeah. every day. And like you said, sports, movies, you mm -hmm. know, relationships, mm -hmm. uh, rearing children. Yep. I mean, we, we cover any and all topic that pop mm -hmm. up. And it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, you know, with me personally, I've been in a few bar barbershops. And this vibe that we bring about, that, that kind of feel, we, we excel yeah. on that. And we pride ourselves. Getting your hair cut is, a, is an experience in, in the totality of it. And especially at Legacy. At Legacy. Check it out. So what's your website? Our website is uh, LegacyBarbershopAndStudio.com. Okay. You can book right off of there. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. 
under the same name. Uh, we do offer $5 off to first-time customers, wow. as well as active military, police, first responders, oh, firemen, firefighters. We, we, we give $5 off for that. Mm -hmm. um, we are a full-scale shop. We do everything, you know, your obvious haircuts, mm -hmm. beard work, beard trims, beard details. Oh. We do the traditional hot lather, mm -hmm. hot towel shaves, straight razor okay. shaves, uh, shape-ups, which would include, you know, just in between haircuts, cleaning around the ears, the mm -hmm. neckline. We do pore cleansing. We do nose waxing. Oh, wow. And we nose also waxing. we also do, it doesn't hurt as bad as you think. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we also do hair designs. You know, there's oh, certain cool. people that like designs yeah. done in their hair. Yeah, we do that. Check us out on Facebook, Legacy uh, Barbershop and Studio. Same as uh, Instagram. You'll see our work. So do you guys accept walk-ins or is it? We do accept walk-ins. Um, they're book we, solid. We have been getting books. <laughs> Hence the addition of, a, of yeah. another full-time barber, so we can, 90% of the time, we could cater to that person. Yeah. And if there's that 10%, we will make sure that we get you in there. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and listen, with, with, with technology, with the phones and everything, that they book your appointment? It's the easiest way, book your way to do it. Book it online. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, through the website, you could book it also through, also through the Booksy app. We're right on the Booksy app. It's Easy. very user friendly, very straightforward. It's the easiest way to do it. Uh, you know, we're, we're at 153 Northeast 4th Ave. We're right next to Beer Trade Company, uh, Bombay Fire. Uh, Delray goodies. So, you know, if you're looking for a bite yeah. to eat, things like that, we got everything you, you can, can have do. have a little afternoon. Hey, let me go down there and get me a nice cleanup. Come on in. Yeah. I got you. I don't know about the nose wax thing, but I'll... Oh, we'll get you. I think that's we'll what you're going to film that. Guys, you're going to come with me. We're going to film that one. Film me getting a wig done and everything. Look at it get all. Some hair. And we do a hot towel head shave, too. Oh, man. Nice. You know, that's, that's what you should good. go for. Yeah, nice relaxing. Yeah, it's a nice relaxing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so guys. much. I appreciate it very it much. great yeah. having you. You guys have yourself a great day. Right, thank you. Take it easy. Thank you. But, and I'm telling you, I'll say it five more times. Solomon loves it there. And I'm telling you, it's, loves it. it's an experience. Yep. It's an experience. Yep. It's not something that you're really just going to rush into and get out. And, and I mean, good guys. They're right. good guys there. So, you, you know, tell. you can, yeah. You and can you tell. can go and walk out floating, like you said, and, and have that experience no, for yourself. So the, the thing is, my son, after he gets his hair cut, mm -hmm. and, and is, he gets in the mirror. And oh, just, yeah, especially at that just, age. Oh, they love themselves <laughs> once they get prettied yeah. up. But I think, I, think that's, I think that's every man, like I said yeah. earlier. It, it does something for you. You know, every, every, anything that shows your reflection, you're going to stop and look after you get your hair cut. Oh, I'm not lying. So men are actually worse than women we're learning yeah, here today. Yeah, yeah, you heard yeah. it here, folks. <laughs> I agree. So much fun. So we have one more yes. amazing guest. Yes. You, you want to welcome her make that, make, that, make that introduction. I'll do the drum okay, roll. Okay. So we have, and you've seen her before here, and we love her. We have Miss Andrea, the coordinator of Let's Move Palm Beach County. Yes. Yes. Let's bring her forth. Come Let's on. go. Come on. How are you doing? How are you? I'm never sure anymore. I'm not sure anymore what we're allowed to do. So I sit there until somebody makes a move. It's so awkward. Because I don't know. I, I'm a hugger. So I'm like, but you just go to hug people and they like, so I'm like, now I just stand there until someone approaches me. You hesitate a little bit. I know. You're good. But it's natural. So thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. We are excited to talk about Let's Move again. So can you tell everyone who doesn't know about this because you need to know about this. What okay. is Let's Move? All right, Let's Move began with um, our, our former First Lady Michelle Obama during her tenure in the White House. And what has happened, Palm Health Foundation of Palm Beach County decided to keep it going by creating a countywide competition for the cities or any type of team that you mm -hmm. want to enter into the contest. And what it is, is, any type of physical activity you do each day, you go onto their website and you log it in. Mm -hmm. And it's for the whole entire month of March, from March 1st to March 31st. And the team at the end of the month, with the most minutes, win the competition. Mm -hmm. And of course, Delray is the biggest um, We city. need yes. to win. Del Delray is the biggest. Everybody want to beat Delray. Uh -huh. So we've created... So we um, have a target on our back. That's yes, right. Yeah. Every year we and have that's a okay. Target. We're going to keep moving that target. We're going to keep on moving. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, 
We're looking, um, we're, we have several different events planned for the month of March. As a matter of fact, we probably have something planned for every day. You do? In March, yes. So we're looking, we're asking you all to come out and support us. Um, as a matter of fact, our pep rally is March 1st. Oh! And Mr. Jamil is going to be our guest You speaker. are! Yes. Oh, I'll have to come and watch you. Yes, 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 oh, pep rallies are his jam. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know anybody peppier Listen, than you. Music and a microphone? Right. You can't beat that. That's everything for <laughs> him. Yes, yes. How Fun. So well, how can people get involved if they can't come to the pep rally or they can't come to these events? Okay. How else can they? You can go, go to letsmove.org and register. You mm -hmm. can register your team if you mm -hmm. want to have a total team. And then if you want to have sub teams under you, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. So just go to letsmove.org and register. Mm -hmm. And again, any, time, any type of physical activity you do for 30 minutes or more, you go onto that website and log in and... Um, I mean, that's amazing. That's it. And and then the points, it gets totaled, and Delray has to win, guys. Yes. So if you're taking a 30 minute walk or you have a baby in a stroll, yes. clock it. Log if it in. If you're doing yes. playing football or doing whatever your activity is, swimming, Log especially it now it's getting warm again, you're swimming so, in the pool. Yes. So, with that question, so we're saying Delray has to win, but if I'm, say, if I'm putting a team in, a group of individuals, mm -hmm. That will count for the whole city of Delray, yeah, but then we also the have subcategories yes. within Delray, yes. right? Well, you got Absolutely. a bunch of boys on a football Absolutely. team. <laughs> so now, we do want the city of Delray to win. Yes. However, if you're a team, as a sub-team, you can win as well. Okay. There are prizes for that, too. Oh. So if you come in under the Jamel Stewart... Mm -hmm. Fan club. Chocolate Tiger fan club. Chocolate Tiger fan club. I'm right. sorry. I and can't give you responsibility. You minutes for the month of March. <laughs> <and> you <laughs> so that, that's great. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, the diff different gyms in the city, like, you know, yeah. Perf, Pure Life and yes, uh, Oh, Montana. Yes. Yes. So I do the Montana method, and there's a bunch of girls in there every day for multiple classes. Montana, we got to oh, get, get those girls team. in there. Get your team. I'm going to have to talk to Montana. We got to talk. Yes. That's going to be great. We have, yes. You're right. We have so let, many special gyms here. Let's yeah, let's move. move. Dot org. Next, next we got to get on there. So listen, if you're out, if you are if you're already doing something active, a lot of people get up yes. riding their bikes. Yep. They walk every morning. You're probably in a group. Find yep. one of your coworkers. Find a, yep. a, a relative. Do something. Take yes. a walk. Just walk it down yeah. the yeah. app. Yeah. Log Walking it. Walking down the app. Log it. Thirty minutes or more. You yep. can log it. And remember, it it starts March first, mm -hmm. and everything has to be logged in by March thirty first at okay. midnight. Yeah. Okay. See, that's the same deadline as the Be Well grant. Oh, so it's a good uh, yes, yes. day. I'm going to be on that tonight as well, Jamil. 5.30, 5.30. Well, I'll take that back. Oh, wait, no, it's the 5th. I'll wait a minute. What is he doing? You better get in there quick, Cassandra, because he is, he is trying to throw us all off so he gets them all. He's trying to take all the grants, guys. That's how excited he is about yes. that program. I am. But yes. I think this is just such a fun, positive thing, yes. and I think it's a fun way to get people moving and thinking about yes. their health in a different yes. kind well, of manner. Well, you know, manner. I have to applaud, uh, you know, Miss Miss Andrea for because mm -hmm. she's really that person that's been pushing this ever wow. since it started for a couple Thank years. You, you, you ride by, you see, you see, yes. because you're not only doing this in the month of March. Right. You know, you're doing a lot with at Libby Wesley Park. I mean, you're yes. out there with the ladies doing Zumba uh, and doing, <laughs> doing yes. everything. You know. Yes. So yes. I, I remember years ago, we had a kickball tournament, you yes. know, coming. It was just things, being creative, just yes. getting the community together, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I moving. Think, and moving. Yes. And I think, I think at the same time, like a lot of people rarely get a chance to really come together yes. um, for a cause. But I think the events that you guys are surrounded by is, is one way of actually doing that. Yeah. And it's you fun. And just, just to mention the pep rally on, on Tuesday night, um, that is a great family event for anybody to mm -hmm. come out and just start moving and having fun. Yep. We're going to have the East Coast Flame cheerleaders there oh, that oh, night to start oh, us off awesome. to pep us up. These, yes. these girls are As I mentioned, phenomenal. Jamil is going to be our guest speaker. We have the Delta Sigma Theta sorority that's coming out to Ooh. do a stroll. That's <laughs> great. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jamil. Down boy, down boy. <laughs> and then um, who else do we have? We have Coach Eric Davis. And then Commissioner Ryan Boyston is going to be recognizing the Jerry B. 7 and Under youth football team oh, who won the Super Bowl fun. this year as so well as the Dairy yeah. Rush soccer team yes. who won a Great. national championship as well. So there's a lot of fun planned for yeah. um, 
Tuesday night coming up. We're going to be dancing and having fun. The senior senior dance team from Pompeii Park. You have, you have to get over there and meet. Listen, they're, yes, they're phenomenal yes, too. Yes, yes, oh, they'll be a be part a nice of party. this. It's going to be a great show. Um, Coach Eric Davis from the mm -hmm. Seven and Under um, football team will be emceeing the program. Oh, how So wonderful. there's a whole lot of stuff planned for Tuesday. Well, we got to go and film it. that. Yes. Yes. That's going to be fun. Yeah, be I'll just nice. show up with my little thing and film that. Because yes. I just, I do, I think this is going to be great. Be great. And nobody be has an excuse because it's only 30 minutes. She, we're not saying you need to be moving for 30 hours straight. 30 minutes. It's on a marathon. You can do it in small amounts, and every single thing you do, you clock it. And if you're worried about coming out, minutes. being around people, you can do it in your house. You can yeah, do something. Do it. Yes. You, so you have no excuse absolutely. whatsoever. Walk around your kitchen in circles for yes. 30 minutes yes. if you have to. Yes. Yes. And just FYI, the pep rally is Tuesday at 630 okay. at Old School Square. Perfect. That's gonna be yes. fun. It's going to be, be so fun. I'm going to tell you, hats off to you. Yes. I know Thank there's you. a lot yes. of planning, but you're passionate about it, so it don't even yes. seem like work. Wow, to you it whatsoever. Doesn't, it yeah. doesn't. You know, it's a lot um, of fun. I've, I've seen it even with Miss uh, Miss Williams over at yes. Atlantic High School with yes. what she's doing with the kids, getting right. the kids involved to the exactly. Let's Move campaign. Exactly. I know Digital Vibes got involved yes. with it as well. So yes. it's a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, you know, within the community that you really brought together right. behind this initiative. And just on that tip with Miss Williams, she's also on March um, 26, March 8th and March 26th. She's, well, March 8th, she's doing a Zumba class at Libby Wesley. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think it's the 26th of March, the NCBW women are doing a health and wellness event at Boy Scout, Scout Park in Delray. So we have a whole month of yeah. events planned. So, so check us fun. out. We have a schedule out there. Look at the schedule and come to one of the Delray events Beach. and have fun. Yes. 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 Ready ready to win. Win. We, we better are, win. We are moving. moving. Let's move. Let's move. Well, Make thank sure. you so You're much welcome. for coming again. It's always great to see thank you. you. Thank you for having me. We can't wait it. to move. I'm yes. ready to move. We're ready. I got your shirts. Oh, you got a shirt for me? Oh, I like I, we get the move, baby. I will baby. bring your shirt. Oh, yeah. Yes. That was my Zumba move. That's a Zumba? Yeah, that's the Zumba. All right. Okay. Is, that, is that accurate? Did <laughs> he do it? Okay. I got to do it for 30 minutes. Any, anything you do is, okay. is accurate. Even I don't, if your moves it, are not <laughs> South <Saturday. laughs> I was like, I don't know that Zumba dance. I don't you know about that Zumba. You can just march in place. She's a hater. March in place She's for 30 minutes and it counts. As long as you're doing something, it helps. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you for We will see you next time. Let's move to art. Check it out. Let's yes. move to Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank right. you. Bye. 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 Have a good one. You too. Once again, great thing. There are always great things. And so many great people. And I do. I tell everybody, my favorite day is Wednesday. Because I, and I'm not a morning person, but right. I love getting to come and share all these beautiful stories and share this hour with so many incredible people. I learned, I mean, every show I'm learning something about So much. Yeah, and like, so. just when you think, you're like, I know everything that happens here. Nope, mm -hmm. you sure don't. Yes. Because there's always something happening and, well, always a lot of things happening at the same time. And sometimes it's hard to even pick. What are you gonna, what are you know, gonna do? Where are you gonna be? Oh my gosh. I'm looking forward well, to it. Well, we're going to be in two places at once two tonight. Places. Yeah, tonight is going down. Because we're going to be on that call. On that call, listening to that Q&A. While we're hosting. While we're hosting. <laughs> yes. So, listen, there was, a, there was a couple things. The Be Well grant. Yep. So, it, which opened up on February 7th. And yep. I think it, it closes on March 5th. So, make March sure you 5th. guys apply. Any businesses mm -hmm. or whatever it may be. Also, um, about the podcasting. That was yes. very interesting. That is so cool. And I think for so many people, it gives them an opportunity to be able to share their story, connect with people right. in a new, cool way and have expert help. I mean, yes. he's an expert. This is his business. And you can get a grant to help you figure out how to do it. So yeah. you're not trying to plunge all your money into something you're confused on. <laughs> and for you ladies that was late on your Valentine's Day gift, go to Legacy Barbershop. Yep. Get your man taken care of, baby. And they will they will love it. Even the pickiest of men <laughs> yes. love Legacy Barbershop. Yes. And now that, that the new great initiative starting on March 1st, ending on March 31st, Let's Move Delray. Visit their website, letsmove.org. See how you can get involved. Let's get these steps. Let's make sure Delray comes out on top. Let's do it, baby. Yeah. Anything else? I think we covered it. We covered everything. Have a Delray day. We love you. Peace. Here at Delray Buick GMC, we're proud to help you with your vehicle needs every step of the way. With your goals at the forefront of our minds, we offer quality service, useful knowledge, a listening ear, and a friendly face. Whether you're looking to upgrade to a brand new model, get behind the wheel of a pre-owned vehicle, or receive helpful repairs and efficient service, our team is dedicated to ensuring you feel comfortable, confident, and taken care of. We also take pride in providing you with a top-notch experience that goes beyond purchasing a vehicle. We offer services in our state-of-the-art service center with a team of certified service technicians and assistance with vehicle financing and auto loans. 
we make sure you get the support you deserve. Our dealership has received the General Motors Mark of Excellence Award six times, one of the most prestigious awards in our industry. Upgrade your dealership experience at Delray Buick GMC. It matters where you buy your car.